Hello starseeds, beautiful souls, and tarot lovers. Welcome back to another edition, another day here at the Hourglass. You guys, I've been having a lot of interruptions and content complications when it comes to starting my videos. All right, so this video is all about what needs to be released and healed so we could ascend for the new year, right? What could be uh, released and healed so we could have what we are deserving? What could be healed and released to put us on that divine path to what we divinely deserve, our birthright, all right? So what pops out Damn, I wish you guys had saw the whole thing from the beginning. So what popped out was fated to suffer. And I'm going to read a passage in the book so we could get a clear um, understanding on what this card means. So this card is merely talking about depression. So some of you may be very deeply saddened at this time, or some of you are very clinically depressed and really need to seek some type of prof professional help. Um, it's time to move forward and have the courage to know that you deserve help. You deserve that assistance to become better so I'm gonna read a passage now it says feeling confined into a script forced by other and never really fought heading towards a destination of pain now don't get uh, alarm you guys all right so not all of the messages are gonna resonate and that's fine that's okay maybe this is just not your reading at this time uh, if you do feel triggered, it's triggering you for a reason so you could heal, so you could rediscover who the fuck you really are, all right? So let's move on. So what I wanted to say, well, what I said in the previous video was I, my eyes keep uh, drawn to the apple in this picture. And it reminds me of a scene in Snow White. Those of you who uh, love fairy tales, Snow White, uh, go and big up yourself in the comment box. I, I do. Uh, I'm a big fan of um, fairy tales. I know a lot of people be like, oh, that's so corny. But to me, these stories, these fairy tales are based off of star seeds, higher level soulmates, even twin flames. So they teach us uh, what it's like to go through the good and the bad, the ups and downs for love, the sacrifices for love. But, you know, we take it very literally. We seem to jump to conclusion, but if you just, you know, really look at the underlying moral of the story, you'll see what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, the apple is really drawn to me. And in many cases, the apple is signifying the beauty of a woman. Uh, it talks about the five elements. When you cut that apple in half, it's the five elements in that uh, middle of that uh, apple, a perfect pentagon. Uh, is it? Is it a pentagon? It's perfectly in the apple center of an apple nature made that uh shape you get what i'm saying it also talks about being very uh fertile uh sorry very fertile in your life the apple could signify sins or salvation you know but you have a choice use your discernment here this is all about using your discernment two plus five equals seven seven is a holy number it talks about patience trust transparency we also have the waxing moon that's on the both sides of this card that talks about courage and moving forward in faith in yourself, right? So just when I begin to, you know, really pinpoint the things in the card, I also uh, have the questions of, is the apple really poison? Is the witch or this person that's handing you this beautiful offer really uh, evil? So it's all about using your discernment, your psychic abilities. And then came out the chariot. The chariot card is another seven. So we have a master number that's going on here already. And that is seven, seven. It's all about being that researcher in life, looking deeper into things, not just taking things at surface value, really looking for, be that own detective in your life. Look at things very closely because you want to bypass any old situation that you put to rest in the past in the past. So the chariot is moving away from struggles. It's overcoming a lot of hardships and going, moving in a direction that it, that's in your birthright. So it kind of like, uh, confirms that Oracle card. All right. So, uh, back to the master number, it's all about intuition. And this is a cancer card. So cancer energy, uh, you may be a cancer, you may be dealing with a cancer or you have cancer placements um, with cancer, cancer energy. They're very, very highly intuitive souls or energy, a lot of psychic abilities. So this is what you need to heal. You need to heal your past. All right. You need to heal or you need to rewrite your script so that you could be on the path of what is divinely, divinely des deserving of you. All right. 
So again, the cancer energy, it's all about family as well. It's about manifesting the tangible in life. And then we come ahead, we come forward to the four of wands. And when this came out, it came out with the chariot. So it's all about moving forward to this home, to this life of um, celebration, of love, of teamwork, of togetherness, of unity. The four of wands could talk about twin flame uh, reunions or unions. Those are you that um, have confirmation that you are a twin lover. Congratulations. You have answered the call to shift the collective into a more love-based energy. Beautiful. As a, as a twin flame lover, as a divine feminine, I am definitely on that path with you guys. I have many other videos on my playlist that you could check out if you're very new to uh, that, that, that connection or that dynamic. We also have the four of wands. Again, could be celebrating a marriage, a wedding, a renewal of uh, unity is what I get. Some of you are with someone, but you're not fully with them, meaning they may not be in your physical space, but we do have the willpower to move forward to that. Some Somebody here has the willpower to move forward to that. Some of you, your divine masculine or your divine feminines may be coming back. And again, you may not be knowing if this is um, too good to be true for some of you or this is what you want or this is going to be different this time around. But again, with the four of wands coming through here, you guys, this is very beautiful. There is a bit of a challenge. Well, duh, right? Like I said, the sto the fairy tales, Disney fairy tales, those are based off of true divine um, feminines and divine masculine, the sacrifices they had to make for love, their faith, the unweaving faith in love, regardless of what it looks like, regardless of the situations that's coming on hand. I hope my mic is not uh, scruffing on my shirt here. So let's talk about the four of wands uh, for a little minute here. So the four of wands, again, could be talking about homecoming. Somebody's coming home. Your home, uh, the connection may be very home-based, very homey. It's very warmth. It's a, it's a sacred space. It's um, a safe haven to be true selves. Here we have the two lovers embracing themselves, eye-to-eye -eye connection, very soul deep. Yet they have... Um, things that are tearing them apart, whether it's the world, whether it's family, whether it's um, a marriage that one person or both people may be involved in. Again, we need to heal the past so we could take that wisdom, that lesson and implement it in the future so that we have the courage, we have the faith in self to move forward very confidently with the chariot. So again, do the research, compare your, your notes or your, your, um, past experiences so you could move forward very confidently from the past. Next, we have the Ten of Swords. All right, so we do have fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This is strong Aries energy. And now we have the Ten of Swords, which could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This may be strong Gemini for some of you. Um, again, the Ten of Swords, a very painful ending. So things may have ended between you and this faded lover, this twin, flick, this twin lover, this higher soulmate lover, meaning that you have this deep bond. It's spiritual. It's emotional. It's more than the physical. You guys have this frequency that you're tied to. You may have the same uh, emotional signature, things like that. So with the Ten of Swords, there may have been a painful ending between the both of you or a painful ending of a cycle between the both of you. Some distance may have been... Um, in place, some boundaries may have been put up, but it's to help the both of you or even you, Vera, to become more powerful in your own divinity. Do you get what I'm saying? I know this is a bit spiritual, but we have to heal the spirit before we could go out there and conquer. Because even if you're making money, you're doing this, you're getting on top of things. If your spirit is not healthy, you wouldn't see the blessings in what you have. You To others, you may have the world, but to yourself, it, feel, it still feels like something is missing. And I feel it here. So this painful ending of the cycle of the whole connection itself was needed for the both of you guys to mature, to mend the bridge within self so you could mend those bridges on the outside we have a bit of um, a challenge energy here with the five of wands so uh, the five of wands uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries coming out again this may be a Leo that you're dealing with that may be, be that may be very conflicted with this whole arrangement all right they may be very conflicted they may have low self-esteem and faith to come back or to come home to my homie I keep hearing come home to my homie 
this person may come back and offer you a beautiful offer, but you're this, you may be very alarmed to uh, accept this uh, beautiful offer. Is it evil? If this person is evil, if it's poisonous, if it's a setback, will we go back to this painful ending? This is something that you guys have to work out together. All right, there's a lot of passion and that may be an issue too. Maybe you guys have this high passionate um, energy between the both of you that causes conflict, that causes um, misery, all right? Or it causes, or it, it did cause a change of heart here, you know? But you guys really have to cooperate. The both of you may be shedding a lot of skins and um, you may be evolving very differently from the other and you guys really have to cooperate you guys have to sit it out um, give each other a chance to talk be a good listener for you guys to cooperate to build this four of wands it's like you guys have to take turn leading all right this may be a battle of the wills is what I heard so you guys may be very strong individuals let's get some more um, cards here so with the five of wands okay so now we have the three of swords we have two cards, the three of swords with the king of swords. All right, so you may be dealing with um, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the king of swords energy. So the king of swords is a very logical being. You can be dealing with a Capricorn, Aquarius energy as well with the three of swords, some more uh, air elements. So what I'm seeing is that Somebody's, somebody got their heart broken. There was a lot of disappointments. It's a lot of grief and sorrow here, but it's like, it's growing this person in a mature state when it comes to, um, so it's a very healing process here. So it's a lot of heartbreak, disappointments and hurts, a lot of delays. Some of you, this person did not show up for you. Or you did not show up for this person and it caused a very deep heartbreak here. And this heartbreak in return, um, the truth has healed someone here. All right. They may be very confused still. They're very still. It's like they're missing a lot of information here. But in this state of sadness, it's causing a renewal. So it's like sometimes you need to get bruised. Your heart needs to get bruised so you could be awakened to what you really deserve in life or what this other person deserves. All right. So with the king of swords, the king of swords knows the laws of love and life. This person has um, endured a lot of pain, a lot of uh, struggle and strife and conflicts and battles, but they're very, um, they could come off very cold and stern, but underneath that, they're soft like a teddy bear. They're very sensitive and caring uh, kings, hey? And what's this telling me is this person or you has, uh, I almost said metamorph or evolved into this king-like energy. So they're moving forward. They are very determined. They And with the king of swords, once they make their mind up, you guys, it's very hard to change this person's um change this person's mind. So this person is very determined to come home, to move forward to their home, to their, to their homey relationship, to their marriage, to the person that they see as wifey, as their husband, because they want to heal this heartbreak between the two. This heartbreak may be what's dividing these people. So the, you guys may be uh, in union in the full 5D, but this person wants to come forward to the, to the physical. They want to heal. They want to renew this loving connection, you guys. Mm -hmm. they know they have to cooperate with you because they cannot go back or you know things cannot go back to the same thing you know that's garbage that's garbage all right i feel like this person tries to call you telepathically so you guys may feel them their energy at night you know cradling you kissing you on the back of your neck you may hear this person's name in your head some of you you hear lyrics of a song or you even see this person's name a lot in the movies that you watch. And this is because they're thinking about you. They're trying to telepathically connect with you. So in a lot of ways, this person may be uh, <laughs> sweeten you up for their arrival back home with the four of wands. They're coming through. I'm not sure if it's fast, but it's very logical. This person is very analytical. This person thinks with their mind over their heart, but their heart is hurting or they may have hurt you or the both of you may have hurt you, hurt each other. And this is something that they want to move on from. They want to heal 
and have a renewal and progress with you. They want success with you. But again, this five of wands energy, they may be very conflicted because of the end of things between the both of you, not knowing how to jumpstart this thing again. So we have seven of pentacles. All right, so the Seven of Pentacles could talk about pausing for a minute to take a step back of things to see what needs to be done to improve the situation. Again, we have this figure right here was trying to nurture a flower and um, they're putting in that time. So this person or you wants to put in this time to heal things between the both of you. They want a chance or an opportunity to grow things despite of the conditions, despite of the obstacles. Again, they may want to come back and offer you a chance to redo this thing again, but is it for real? Is it poisonous? Is it from evil intention? Is there a hidden agenda here? Some of you have all of these uh, questions circulating in your mind. And what you need to do again is heal from your past. Because when you heal, when you take that wisdom and you apply it with your soul guidance, Again, you'll have the courage and the faith to move forward. So the seven of pentacles, you may be dealing with an earth sign. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. So, you know, um, this person is very diligent. And again, I feel the word, the, the word coming to me as stern. So, you know, this person may be uh, a little cold. This may be a double edged sword situation as well. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. So it's like, I hurt if I go, I hurt if I stay type of deal or at least that you feel that way, but it's like they want to put in that effort to cultivate this renewal, to grow things, to have a success. I also feel like this person has a vision or you have a vision of what you want. And um, it's almost like if things don't go in that chronological order, I hope that I use the right term there, that conflict is going to arise, a battle of the wills. You know, both of you are very strong individuals. If this is a twin flame uh, journey, divine masculine, divine feminine here, you both are very strong. One of you like to lead and the other one likes to have be in movement. All right. But again, the king of swords, even though they're very stern and cold underneath that, once they let you in, because this person has endured a lot of pain, this could be your energy as well. Or the both of you sh of mirroring each other here. So it's like the both of you know what's fair, what's right, what's just. You both have endured a lot of pain, you know, so the both of you are hurting. So this person may know that or you may know that and you have this vision or you have this goal of healing with each other. But again, somebody needs to get on board with the five of wands. Somebody needs to be cooperative. Somebody needs to lay down their ego and listen. Somebody needs to listen. So with the seven of pentacles, yeah, a lot of effort or you guys may have put in a lot of effort, a lot of hard work and you want to see those rewards. You guys have invested or this person wants to invest with you handing you this beautiful offer. So now we have the 10 of wands, mm, a lot of tough energy. Somebody's very burdened here. This is weighing heavy on someone. This person or you may have a lot of things that's going on. And it's like conflicting on how are we going to start this? That's what I did feel. And then at the bottom, we have the king of cups. So we have two very strong kings here. One is more emotional and sensitive and the one is another. The other is very logical head over heart. So you may have two different uh, kings that's um, kind of battling for your attention or battling to come home to you or this may be your energy and theirs. So you may be in your masculine energy despite of being a female. This may also be same-sex uh, um, love affair as well because the King of Cups could be seen as um, same-sex. Not, not that I'm against it, but that's what I pick up, pick up at times. Um, again, you could be a feminine watching this and you're very much in your masculine energy where you're all about action, you're all about leading, whereas... Um, I guess you could say that you stop uh, being very or you stop leading from your heart when it comes to this person. Because, again, being very naive and gullible has led you to uh, suffer in the past. Some of you are going through it right now. All right. We have a lot of sevens here, you guys. Is that true? Yes, we have a lot of sevens. We have tens as well. So ten, ten could talk about uh, staying optimistic about where you're at and about where you're going, where you're going going towards, all right? Uh, the seven, now we have seven, seven, seven. That could talk about 
in the shadow aspect, that could talk about somebody's in need for money, all right? So you never know. It's like you kind of like doubting somebody's coming back. You may feel like this person's coming back for financial reasons or financial stability, maybe in the past, that uh, they give you that impression as well. Uh, 777 in the light aspect is all about following uh, the divine magic being on the right track, listening to this divine guidance. I mentioned that hair would fade it to suffer. Even though you had this hardship, again, the King of Swords suffered a lot in their past. They have fought many battles, endured many pains, but they're also very wise. All right. So take that wisdom with you moving forward. Have that courage, have that faith. It's a new year, 2020. That's all about unions as well. When it comes to the twin flame journey, if you are part of that um, dynamic, if you choose to answer that call, if you have chosen to answer that call, congratulations. All right. You have been chosen or you have answered that call to, to not only shift yourself, but also the, the, um, consciousness of the mass to a more love-based energy. You're here to bring in a new world, a new world which is based off of love. It's, nobody said it's not going to be easier, right? So let's talk about the King of Cups, hey? Wow. So the King of Cups, very loving, very compassionate. This person could be a father. This person is very caring, you guys. And I feel to say that, um, yeah, they seem to be focused on their love as well. So this King of Cups may be with the King of Swords energy paired together. They're very decisive on who deserves their love. All right. Maybe it took a lot of trials, tribulations, a lot of betrayals, hurts, um, backstabbing to get to this point, you guys. Some people just don't learn as easy as they should. And that's because a lot of trauma based, they have a lot of things that they had to deal with in the need of money. Money could have been a very huge obstacle for this person, not wanting to give into the relationship because of financial issues and money tied into a lot of different outside influences, not wanting to be seen as needy towards, um, the other as well. So sevens are huge uh, significance here, you guys. Keep that in mind. So let's talk more about the sevens. Sevens, again, talks about patience, trust, transparency. All right? This is long-term um, significance here as well. Understanding, a lot of challenges. But again, those challenges bring wisdom. Those challenges bring you to your higher self. All right? So I want to get another oracle card on what could... Um, I was going to say counteract, but <laughs> what is, um, what should we know or what should we be aware of? This is a fairly new deck. So I'm going to need to go into the book. Where is the book? Hold on one second, you guys. All right, here it is. All right. So this is angels and ancestors. This was, um, gifted to the hourglass as well for Christmas. I'm very thankful for it. Uh, the, from one of my, um, very loyal clients They've been with me from my first tarot deck to maybe my 30th deck right now so let's see i want to see what could be um released what could help this faded to suffer for some of you this is what's going on right now the both of you in this ten of wands energy feeling very burdened of the situation or this connection or having to work towards it is very burdensome it feels uh like too much work or hard work for someone here but nevertheless i feel like um they feel very responsible to come back to this situation. This may also be your person or you feel very burdened um, that you guys are very conflicted or going through a lot of conflicts and battles of the will here. This person may be very much nurturing a lot of financial situations. Again, money is a huge obstacle here. So this person is working on their finances, constantly checking their stocks or investments that they have been investing in. And it's very burdensome for them. They may, or you, uh, maybe spending more than your uh, profit in, uh, with your business or whatnot, all right? So something here is very uh, hard work. It's a lot of responsibilities or this is another obstacle that's stopping you guys from healing. So we have the star ancestor and the Lord. So the Lord in this deck, i sure it means the divine masculine actually. So let's move forward to that. With the star ancestor, it says, follow the voice of your Follow the voice of your soul. Again, you guys, that soul guidance, you have to listen to it. You cannot fear it anymore because what's, what have you gained 
from not listening. A bunch of heartaches and, and challenges, right? So try it a different way now. Try, try it the other way. Try to listen to your soul guidance. I know it's very scary to, of the unknown and whatnot, but you guys, um, you're not benefit. A lot of you are not benefiting from ignoring your soul guidance, all right? You know what I'm talking about. Go and big up yourself in the comment box if you know what I'm talking about. Again, thank you guys for um, your private emails, for choosing the Hourglass to vent to. I deeply appreciate it. Big up to all my silent followers. You know who you are. Oh my goodness, where is this thing? I don't want to have to pause the video to find it. Oh, it's Star Ancestor. My bad. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong thing. So I'm, I'm loving this uh, deck as well star and sister oh here we go all right so i'm gonna read to you i hope you guys do enjoy when i read to you <laughs> so it says heed the messages coming directly from your soul the star ancestor is a native american term extra extraterrestrial light beings who are dedicated to healing and growth of the world wow you guys often often people feel a sense of connectedness when they look up into the night stars and see the stars. I believe that because they are remembering their starry connection and those are what this card represents. The star ancestor is reminding you that you have otherworldly support and that your friends from the stars can help you if you are willing to be helped. All right, you guys, so you hear that? This is a deeper purpose to your human journey. All right, some of you may be stargazers or you really need to look up in the stars um, as well. You need to be still and open your mind. Listen to your true self as it speaks back to your, your higher self. Know the difference between your higher and your lower self, you guys. All right, your higher self, your soul guidance comes very calmly. It's a very calm, um, subtle energy okay you guys so you may miss it over your fares all right um and that is your i think this is connected to your third eye chakra it feels like a third eye chakra thing here so take action it's time to take action based on your guidance your intuition calm clarity is what i like to call it so let's see what the lord is talking about i definitely feel like that is the divine masculine in this deck you guys i'm not playing <laughs> i'm really not playing okay so let's say it says don't be afraid to take charge use your voice and be strong so this is the king of swords energy as well yeah so let's go so it says the lord is the consort of the lady the emperor in the traditional tarot so the emperor in the traditional tarot is the divine masculine so the divine masculine is making a very huge appearance hey you may be dealing with a strong aries all right. Um, take charge with authority. So again, your divine masculine, for many of you who resonates, your divine masculine is standing in their divinity. They have made up their mind in which direction they have the willpower. All right, you guys, they want to return. It's a homecoming here. Maybe for a lot of you, a reunion is going to happen before the end of the year or in the beginning of 2020 again 2020 is the year of a lot of unions and reunions when it comes to the twin flames uh journey you guys all right so it says here um <clears throat> uh, this card represents taking control in order to be honored all right so this person wants to lead again they may come with a beautiful offer that may alarm you that may shook your core all right and again, because things has painfully ended with you and this person, it's like a renewal. This person had to suffer. Possibly the both of you had to suffer to mature, to evolve, to become your better selves for each other. All right. So in the past, you guys may not have been destined at that time, but in the future, a lot of you are destined to be together, to have these destined babies as well. All right. Um, so yeah, let's go back to what it says here. Um, so in the past, you or this person or both of you may have felt like your kindness or gifts that you offer to each other or to this one person may have been uh, taken for granted. And that's going to change. It's time for change. There's no excuse for bad behavior. And the ancestors are encouraging you to hold your ground and speak your mind in a fiercely loving way. That is the king of swords energy. They can be very stern and blunt, but underneath it all, it's a very caring, sensitive person. Very kind. The same thing with the King of Cups. 
somebody is very um, aware of how they feel. Again, it's a lot of twin flamey type energy or a higher level soulmate. Someone that was brought into your life, your realm, your spirit to help mature each other, to help trigger each other, to become better. All right. Um, let's see what it says. It says you might have to overcome some drama and energies that aren't working for the growth. This is the five of wands energy, the battle of the wills. You guys need to start cooperating in a loving way. Again, if you have answered the call of the twin flame journey, you have answered a call to shift this earth energy into a love based energy. You guys beautiful, a lot of beautiful confirmation going on here. You guys, it says it's time to take charge before you find yourself in a situation you don't want to be in. You are being encouraged to be the boss instead of being bossed. All right, you guys, it's time to be boss. It's time to be the boss, the CEO of your life with the willpower of the chariot. Be decisive of what action you want to take and move forward with courage and faith in yourself. Know that what you deserve is what you deserve and don't back down. You get what I'm saying? So if this person comes to offer you a beautiful um, opportunity, it's time to speak up, you guys. You know, they, they could either cooperate or um, leave the situation alone. All right. Uh, let's see what it says. This card brings energy of ambition and can show you and can show you have the potential to move upward on a professional level. But only if you act with authority and show who you are. So it's time for a lot of you to show exactly who you are. No more dumbing down yourself to fit in or to make others feel comfortable. If, you're, if your culture, if who you are as a person makes others uncomfortable, well, guess what? That's their issue. That's their issue. So let's get some letter confirmation. Again, if you guys really need to connect with um, nature, those uh, quotes are going to come out as well. You could take it. You could leave it. Um, it's all what you resonate, where you feel deeply connected to, all right? Some of you, uh, what you're hearing today might not make sense until the further future, all right? So I do have time stamps in here. So just take it how it resonates. Don't try to make anything fit that doesn't belong, all right? So there is a change here. There is a change of heart for a lot of you and your divine masculines. That's a strong divine masculine that's in the king of swords or king of cups. You guys may have two divine lovers that's pining for your attention to come home. And this is going to have to be your um, opportunity to be the boss. Because right now, I feel like they're at your mercy. Some of you, this person had to go through a lot of painful cycles to come to the conclusion that you are the one. You are the one that they want to come home to. But again, it's up to you. Okay, so we have some few. Um... So it says the plants have enough spirit to transform our limited vision. We have the letters H that could be first, middle or last um, initial. Could be a state, could be a place. <laughs> it says how strange that nature does not knock and yet does not intrude that has been coming up a lot lately we have uh another letter t we have august that's a time stamp we have v that may be the big uh the first middle and last initial we have l we have x d and we have another nature quote it says talking to the plants is one way of talking directly to spirit. And this is my favorite nature quotes. So I'm going to repeat um, the letters again. We have H, T, V, L, X, and D. <laughs> Time stamp for some of you may be August. This may be a birthday. This may be um, coming to fruition in August. This may be your divine masculine's birth month. As well, this could be a month that you met this person in. Again, this may be a month where all will be um, revealed as well. All right. So I hope you guys found this video very useful. If you did, go and big up yourself in the comment box below. Again, this video is all about what needs to be released and healed so you could ascend. And what it looks like from here is this has a lot to do with higher level soulmates that are willing to come home or ready to come home and work things out. They're ready to invest. They're ready to put in that hard work. You just have to use your discernment. If you're a cross watcher that's listening, I hope that you found things very useful here. Again, please like, subscribe, and share. Comment, comment, comment. Let's keep these free, amazing, entertaining readings going. So I'll see you guys in another video. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.